employees suck and I quit. What's up, everybody? My name is Brandon Vaughn, and welcome to Map to a Million. In a previous episode, I'm sure you may have noticed a young man by the name of Spencer. Uh, like I said, a lot of things have been happening the last few weeks, but hiring your first official employee is a really big step in your service business. And this is really where a lot of home service business owners, they kind of get stuck. They don't have a dedicated setup process to where every single step is exactly the same when they hire a new employee. You know, having offer letters, a written job description, set interview questions that you ask every single one of your applicants and candidates, all of these things are so important. HR is one of the most often overlooked departments in a service business, but think about it. We are literally in the people business. So what should be more important than our people department and having all these steps and checklists are super important. So in this episode, I'm going to actually be showing you behind the scenes of the interview that I had with Spencer. When he came into our shipping container studio, I literally set up the camera and he came in and was kind of like looking around like, what? where am I right now? And so he sat down and we recorded the interview. I'm going to show you some uh, sneak peeks of that actual interview. Obviously, you know that I hired him. So I'm also going to show you all of the steps that we took in order to get him onboarded and some really cool HR tools that make this so much easier for you in your service business. So let's check out this interview with Spencer. We're 30. <laughs> so, so 40. Yeah, yeah. On your average. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 It's not, not it's not bad. E4 I, doesn't get much traffic either. Pat, beyond. Yeah, going this way. Beyond Portland, yeah, it's totally fine. Okay, Spencer. Um, so, how'd you hear about the job? Uh, well, Tanner, talking to Tanner. I liked the job that I was working in, I said. Probably not. And then they were like, hey, we're doing this thing that is a little bit more up your alley maybe. And I got excited about it. Um, so what's kind of like your your uh, timeline for securing a job or, or like switch it? What's your, what's your timeline? When do you think you find it? You want to start with, with you guys? Yeah. Um, whenever. So are you loving what you're doing right now as far as the, the estimating and not having yeah, physical Yeah, I mean, work? honestly, I am a little bit more, I think I was, happier believe it or not getting up in the morning to go work 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 than i am getting up and doing this just because it's like it's just i'm not doing a lot um which it, like i said i've been bugging them i want more responsibility but also i just like long term i didn't i worked with a guy who was like 50 and he i mean he just like was limping around you know and i was like God, i cannot i can't i can't do that so what, what are some things that you're looking for in like a, a career <clears throat> i want to dig my teeth into some kind of responsibility, you know, I, I don't, I want a career path. I liked learning and now I feel like I, I, I'm not learning anymore. So it's getting a little bit monotonous. I told them like way early on that like next, like in September next year, I want to be like full time when I have like, yeah, I'm working three days a week. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. So ideal for you is a full time. Yeah. Full -time. Yeah. Gotcha. So how, how would you uh, how would you describe your best boss? Uh, my best boss. Well, coming along with some of the themes, like just like creating a team environment, like making sure everyone feels valued. That's what, in my opinion, what a good boss does. But also open and transparent about everything, including like what you're doing right and what you're you're not doing right. Like working with my dad. Starting when I was young, like, he chewed me out for everything that I did wrong, you know? <laughs> and it's like, I get used to it, and so if, if I'm not getting any kind of feedback, it's just like, so frustrating. And what type of compensation are you looking for? Really, right now, um, what's more important to me is just like, knowing where I'm going. Like, having something in front of me, that looks like a good compensation, and right now, I can, I'll, I'll do whatever, you know? What's up everyone? We have an amazing update today and I want to tell you all about it. So there's several things that happen. By the way, I'm up with my boys. We got main man Tam Man over here and Jack and um, we're going to talk about what we did today. So uh, a few big milestones happened. Uh, today, Tanner did 
what? What was your first thing you did today? Ooh, I gave our first estimate for Wise Coatings. Yeah, so Tanner Tanner went out and he he closed a job. Well, it's not 100% closed. 100% close, yeah. close, but we're confident. We're going to celebrate when the check clears. That's what I always say, right. celebrate when the check actually clears. But um, he gave a price. Uh, they were excited by it. And then when are they going to hear back? It's yeah, I mean, well, we don't have any cell service. At least I don't. Know. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, he could have called me back. Anytime this afternoon, he should be getting back to me. And, yeah, we should we should know. And it's a Friday. Perfect timing, right? Yeah, so. we also did something uh, today. What did we uh, What did we do today, Jack? We had our uh, first interview. <laughs> it was amazing. So, was so exciting. how weird was it? Why was this interview, like, so weird? It was a, it was a little different. <laughs> we we uh, had the camera going right on the uh Guy we're interviewing, and yeah. Uh, yeah, I made him a little nervous, so right. a little fire under it. And Jack is going to be doing, um, you know, all the interviews moving forward. So, um, me being able to conduct the first interview, we're able to record it, and we're going to have, uh, you know, Spencer's going to sign off on a uh, model photo video release form, so that, that way he'll like agree to have us be able to use this. But being able to record these things means that. It's done. You have a training manual now on how to conduct interviews. How, you know, what are the questions that you ask? How you go through those? And we have a document that we use and the one that I use in my own company of exactly all the best questions to ask. In fact, if you want to watch the full unscripted video, uh, the raw video of the entire interview, join the Maps Mastery program, be a Maps Mastery member, hop on over there, and in there we have that full, how long was that? It was like an hour? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was like for you do not want your interviews, in person interviews, to be short. You want to like unpack, and sometimes you'll feel a little repetitive, but like you want to go through and ask all the questions because they can fake the answers for the first few ones, but when you start wearing them down over the course of an hour, like you, you got to stop faking them at, at that point. Now, you can probably just tell from the energy in the room that Tanner and Jack absolutely love Spencer. So, obviously, we hired him and we are putting together all of our packages. I want to tell you why it's so important to have these things systemized by sharing with you a personal story. About five years ago, I was on the couch, curled up in the fetal position, and I said, employees suck, and I quit. I was done. And at that point in time, we were booked out solid for about two months in the middle of our busy season, and over half of my employees turned in their two weeks notice while we were booked out that far. And like, I didn't, I had no clue what I was gonna do. Now it taught me a lot about having a strong company culture. I was not invested in my team. I was not caring about what their hopes, dreams, and goals were. But at that moment, it was kind of a turning point for me to start asking those types of questions and to start systemizing our onboarding process so that if we did have some kind of an event where someone unexpectedly quit, we could quickly get new members onto our team. So I wanna share with you some of those systems that I've implemented and since learned since that very key defining moment and tell you how I'm getting Spencer all onboarded with Wise Coatings and what we're gonna be doing for every new hire that comes on. Let me show you our process. Before you're set up to legally be an employer, there's some steps you have to take. Number one, make sure that you're registered with your local state agencies. In Oregon, we have to get our BIN number, our business identification number, as well as make sure that we have unemployment all set up and workers comp. So depending on what agencies your local state has, this may be taken care of through a state agency or you might have to go to a private insurance carrier to get this set up. Either way, you have to get this done before you make your first hire. The next part of the process are all of the systems and things that aren't necessarily required, like by law, but I view them as being requirements. Make sure that you have a written offer letter to your potential employee to make sure that they know what to expect, what's expected of them. A piece of HR software that I absolutely love is called Gusto. In fact, if you click on the link down below in the description, I'll give you a free 14-day trial. They are not sponsoring this video at all. I just personally use them in my own service business, but they automate a lot of the onboarding processes for you. So having an official offer letter, a job description, an employee handbook, a safety manual, even things like a photo and video release form that you need to make sure your employees 
are signing when they onboard themselves into your company. By the way, all these documents that you see up here, they are available in our Conquer program. We have a program in there called Basecamp that has all of these templates, systems, resources done for you. So click on the link down below if you'd like to learn more about that. Think about this, imagine you had an employee that maybe was featured in a lot of your YouTube videos and your marketing collateral and photos on your website. And later on, they parted ways with your company and demanded that you take all of those things down. If you didn't have a photo and video release signed off by them, giving them permission to do that, then chances are you're gonna have to redo all of those materials. Imagine taking down YouTube videos that may have tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of views because you didn't get those photo and video releases done. By making this part of your standard operating and onboarding process, you can make sure that this is done for you. Getting their t-shirt sizes for their uniforms. By being intentional with your onboarding process, you can make this so smooth when a new person comes onto your team, all these things are done for you with a software program like Gusto. They get the link, they fill it out, they digitally sign it, and then you have all that compliance and it's finished. You know, too often, too many business owners, they don't think about their business like a product on a shelf. I mean, when you go into a grocery store and you're taking a look at all the different products on the shelf, your eye is drawn to one in particular. It's because those product packagers have thought about marketing, what makes it look attractive to the eye to where someone would wanna buy it. Don't forget, your employees are your internal customers. That means that they need to look at your business like a product on a shelf and understand why it's more important to work for your company than it is for other companies. And we're gonna talk a lot about company culture and how to inject that into your company to where people will refer all their family and friends and other people to come work for you because you've built that up in your business. So you definitely don't wanna miss a future episode. Have you liked, have you shared this? Have you subscribed? Have you rang that bell for notifying yourself of all future episodes? Well, if you haven't, go ahead and do that. I promise you there's gonna be so much more content. And again, a huge thank you to all of our Maps Mastery members. Guys and gals, I could not do this without you and your support. So thank you, thank you. You can see this list that we have over here of all of our Maps Mastery members. A big appreciation to you guys. And make sure you click on that link down below if you'd like to check out the Maps Mastery program. We have all kinds of resources in there for you. So that's gonna wrap it. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>